In addition to being the most marketable star in baseball, Bryce Harper is also an excellent player, too. 26 years old and having recently posted one of the greatest defensive seasons in the history of the sport, there's no doubt Harper would have helped the Giants win games in the coming years. But in 2029, 20, 2030, 20, and 2031? That's a different story. Harper agreed to a deal with the Phillies on Thursday, ending the dream of him in orange and black, hitting moonshots into McCovey Cove. But Giants fans shouldn't be disappointed that Harper is going to play for stupid money, they should be grateful, as their team dodged a bullet. Photo by Kelly Klein, Getty Images, Harper's new contract is the largest in North American professional sports history, $330 million. That's a big, fat number the Vanderkin and his advisory team, headed by agent Scott Boras, have expected for years, if not a decade. The Giants certainly could have afforded to pay Harper that. In fact, they probably could have paid him more. But could they have afforded to have him on their roster for the next 13 years? I don't think so. Harper is committed to being a Philly through the 2031 season, his age 38 season. And that's a strong commitment, too, the deal has no opt-outs and a no-trade clause, per ESPN's Jeff Passan. Yes, Harper would be a welcome addition to any team's lineup for the next half-decade and perhaps a bit longer, his theoretical prime seasons, but the Phillies just paid, up front, for the downslope of Harper's career. Do you see a scenario where this ends well? I don't. And that has nothing to do with Harper, who, again, is an excellent player and by most accounts a nice guy, it's merely an extrapolation of history. The next good 10-plus year contract in baseball will the first, the sport is too grinding. But this contract adds three years of weight onto Albatross the Phillies will assuredly have to wear around their necks in the latter part of the next decade and the start of the decade after that. For Boris, the stunning length of the contract was the cost of securing his clients' prime years. Luckily, the Giants didn't buy what Boris was selling. Photo by Dilip Fiesvenot, Getty Images, ultimately, this is the kind of deal that hamstrings an organization for a decade as the team, an immovable piece of furniture that sits in the middle of the room which at a certain point will go out of style. The Giants already have enough of those clogging up their locker room and payroll, right now, they don't need to double, to set the bolt down. Even if Harper helps the Phillies win the World Series in the next three years, something that would, to many, justify the contract, he'll still have a decade left on his deal. Philadelphia fans only need a week to turn on you, Harper just signed up for more than 150 months. Of course, the Giants wouldn't have even sniffed the World Series with Harper's upcoming prime years, such as the sad state of the team's overall roster. No, Harper was being pursued as another big money band-aid to the organization's top-to-bottom woes, an ownership-led attempt to hold off painful but necessary changes and the latest get-rich-quick scheme that involves enriching a well-known player. Harper's star power would have no doubt returned butts to seats and corporate money to boxes at Oracle Park, but eventually, in a year or two, the new star scent would have dissipated and the Giants would be left with a mediocre at best team burdened by a couple of massive contracts, Harper's being the largest, and a bottom of the barrel farm system. That team would be stuck in the mediocre valley, theoretically good enough or, at least, expensive enough, to dilute themselves into thinking they don't need to rebuild, but not good enough to be a few shrewd moves away from serious contention. It's those teams that end up being forgotten and deemed irrelevant, they have nothing of serious worth to sell. I don't think that's the future new president of baseball operations Farhan Zaidi envisioned for this team when he was hired this past offseason. Photo by Scott Tate, Getty Images, if Giants ownership is afraid of relevance in the soon-to-be-crowded San Francisco professional sports marketplace the Warriors will move in five blocks south of Oracle Park in the fall, then they need to trust the rationale in hiring Zaidi. They need to restore their faith in his system to build the Giants into a big market team on par with Boston, the Cubs, the Dodgers, and the Yankees, teams rich in both prospects and cash. Each of those teams had to take their licks on the way to perennial contention. 
the Dodgers had the easiest go of the four teams, having made the playoffs two years prior to Andrew Friedman and Zadie taking over in ahead of the 2015 season, but there was still some serious recalibration necessary in the Southland, a lot of stars exited and were replaced by perceived nobodies. But sure enough, the Dodgers took it to a new level, winning back-to-back -back pennants on the strength of their expertly managed farm system, not just their deep pockets. The Red Sox, Cubs, and Yankees all tanked, too, at least for a year, in an effort stockpile their farm system in an attempt to create a cheap, long-term base which could be augmented through free agent spending. That's the formula for success in the modern game, proven over the last four years. To go against it is willful ignorance or deadly hubris. It's the Phillies' playbook, too. They already did the hard part, rebuilding their farm system, but now that those young players are ready to contend, they needed a star to get them over the hump. That's why they were willing to give Harper everything and a bit more Thursday. The Giants could get to that level soon, Zadie is a smart guy, but they're nowhere near it right now. Yes, they have been losing the last two years, but they haven't even started to create that necessary base. The one they have is aged and expensive, the antithesis of what you want to be in the modern game. Harper was only the latter, but he would have augmented a base that isn't worth keeping. Thankfully, the Phillies' desperation stunk more than Giants' ownerships Thursday, Zadie should get his chance to build this team, top to bottom, the way he sees fit.